one of the things that um, that you don't hear about at all is that there are artifacts in Orange County that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Uh, there are, are uh, uh, um, artifacts in this area that are, you know, that are our people. Uh, um, um, I'm very proud of our people because I think that they were they were basically to me like the ultimate humans. They lived off the land. They got along with nature. They uh, uh, used what nature gave to them. They didn't try to change anything about it. Uh, looking at different uh, rock minerals, ones that we, we would use for our, our stone, uh, stone tools for cutting and other ones that we could use it and that we could shape and uh, 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 um, make our, um, either our effigies out of or make our uh, ceremonial stones that they used out of. Uh, one of the big major stones that you're going to hear everybody talk about that's, that they don't know what it was used for and, and, and that, that, that's puzzling to everybody is going to be the cog stones. We had gone to a gathering, oh, I want to say it was probably either at uh, the Serrano Adobe or one of the, um, one of the county parks had put on a, a, a um, a, a, I don't even want to call it a fiesta, but a, a, like an open house type of thing. And we went there to go see, you know, what it looked like. And um, they had some of our artifacts in a, um, in a glass case. Like they had maybe a, a, a matate or, or a mono or so, and they had them in a glass case. And that's all they had. And then they had a, 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 just a, ca you know, a caption, you know, these were used by the but I want, to, I want to say it, it probably said uh, the, the native people of this area and stuff like that. So um, what I started trying to do is uh, um, get information, uh, which is pretty much wherever I could find it, uh, on anything about the culture that I could find it on. Uh, bead, beads, uh, flint napping, um, um, what was stone tool making, uh, the arrows, the arrows that they used. Uh, the games that they played and stuff like that. We still uh, uh, um, are very, very uh, um, think strongly of, of, of keeping a lot of the old uh, um, thought process basically of, of our ceremonies and how things are done. Uh, uh, our prayers and and um, um, you know bringing back the songs and making sure that we do do offerings and things things to that effect that that connect us to the um, to basically to the land that 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 we're still connected to, to that aspect of it and to the to the um, I guess you call them the, to the ancestors and things like that. That's one of a big focus on a lot of what we do is is that there are people that are doing the same thing we were doing years ago and we're going to pick up either their, their feathers or their regalia and carry on that aspect of it. That's a big, huge thing. Um, um, and a good example of that is this necklace is a shell necklace that my dad wore whenever he did anything. And we all wear it. My brother will wear it. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll even uh, let my nephews wear it whenever we do anything and stuff, so. One of the, the big focus is to, um, to make sure that the, um, that the younger kids uh, um, um, know, know the, the, um, the culture of the one in your band of mission Indian so that they know the basketry, the, the the, um, the technical part of it, the tools and how they were made, uh, the different materials that they were, um, that they used, the, the different plants that they were used. Um, that was one of the big focuses uh, with the adobe is to plant native plants on um, one side of the adobe so that we could do a, a, a walk and, and show the plants and how they were used. Um, it's just to make sure, uh, um, and part of that is actually having uh, gatherings, and that's one of the things that we're going to use the adobe for is to have a big gathering for the uh, Juaneños and do those individual uh, um, 
uh, cultural um, activities that they that they would do. And one of the big ones is is uh, uh, from the basketry and and, and the um, flint napping or, or the stone tool making is to show some of the different games. Uh, one of the big games that's played uh, that we we played is a uh, peon. Um, that's the word they use now for it. Our word for it is called tipanish. And that's one of the big gambling games. And to show them that it's, um, it's, not, it's not just a game, uh, uh, um, it, it's more than that, um, that you prepare uh, um, before you go play. Um, it's played at night. Um, they sing songs uh, while they're playing and they, they don't uh, know, it might even go till the next morning. And it's, it's a um, hiding game with, uh, uh, with bones that they use, a black and a white one. And there's four guys on one team and four guys on another team. Is bringing back some of that or letting, letting the young kids see that uh, part of our culture played out. And, and, and the interaction between the, the, the men and the women part of it too is to bring that back too.